Japanese parenting rules all kids need. All kids are a joy to be around, but Japanese children are some of the most polite, friendly, and well-behaved you'll ever meet. Keep on watching to see if you can learn a thing or two on parenting from the land of the rising sun. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on post notifications to join us here on the Bright Side. Number 8. Storytelling is a top priority Japanese parents take special care into passing on their traditions and telling their kids about their country's history through fairy tales. There are even scary monsters and imagery that parents from other countries might not consider suitable for their children. But to Japanese parents, exposing their kids to these sorts of things is a way to better prepare them for real life. It'd be like you teaching your children about your country's history from a very young age without skipping any of the gory details that are likely involved. They don't coddle their children in other aspects of life as well. They bring their kids to the many Japanese festivals that take place every year, all for the purpose of educating them. But it's not like they tell them scary stories and leave it at that. Children in Japan have a plethora of super cute cartoons and positivity that help balance out the negative. Number 7. The mother-child bond is very close In some cases, Japanese culture can be quite patriarchal, so those who follow the traditional parenting model will put a lot of importance on the mother-child bond. They follow what's called the proximity parenting style. You might have seen in movies how mothers bathe with their young children, sleep with them, carry them around everywhere, and are focused on physical contact. New Japanese mothers spend almost all of their time with their newborn. Getting a babysitter, having a night out, or heading to work is pretty uncommon, although these practices are starting to change. Japanese mothers have a belief that children are initially disconnected from parents and that they need to become dependent on their mother through physical touch. In this way, attachment is more important than public displays of affection. Number 6. Rules are more important than punishment it might seem like Japanese parents are very strict, but they have a lot of rules so that they don't have to enforce punishment. Some parents in other countries might try to enforce easygoing rules on their kids, and when they don't respect them, they get punished. A good way of teaching children about rules and what's expected of them is through extracurricular activities. Kids in Japan are often involved in sports teams, creative groups, and any club or gathering that will teach them to cooperate with others and follow preset guidelines. This makes it so that children always know what's expected of them, they have rules at home, at school, and even during their free time. Number 5. The community is involved in parenting When it comes to parenting, every adult that a child comes into contact with also plays a role. This means that the entire community can be counted on to help enforce rules. Children spend a lot of time with their grandparents and other relatives, which is pretty typical in a lot of countries. But the main difference is that Japanese kids are taught to always respect and honor their grandparents and all elders. Even elders who are strangers to the children are considered trustworthy and must be respected. When kids respect their elders, and the elder generation takes an active role in parenting young ones, this creates an environment where the community is a safe place for children to grow up. And since the community protected them when they were growing up, the kids become adults with a sense of responsibility to become productive and helpful members of society that give back. Parents know that in the event of an emergency, the community will always be there for the child. Number 4. The children's nutrition is spot on If your little one throws a temper tantrum at the sight of veggies on their plate and they're screaming for chicken nuggets instead, then this Japanese parenting tip should help. In Japan, children always have a balanced meal. Their parents prepare a nutritional lunch that usually includes some rice, vegetables, soup, and lean meat. So when they go to school, they don't scarf down a bunch of junk that doesn't fuel their body but instead gives them mood swings, makes them fatigued, or on the other end of that spectrum, causes them to be super hyper and unfocused. Of course, when you eliminate this bad stuff that brings on mental fog, kids can concentrate on their homework and grades. Even school lunches in Japan are just as healthy as homemade meals and include a variety of great food options. Kids grow up always eating right, and they associate healthy food with feeling good. This, in turn, helps them make healthy food choices as adults that instill the same values in their kids as well. Number 3. Children must think of others If kids everywhere thought about other people's feelings, you'd never see a sibling whack another one with a Lego piece or throwing a temper tantrum in the middle of the grocery store. From a very early age, parents in Japan teach their children to think of others before they speak or act. So it's very uncommon to see a child crying uncontrollably or being aggressive in public. Wherever they are, whether it be at school, restaurants, or museums, kids are well-behaved. They stay in their seat, 
eat what their parents put in front of them, and talk without raising their voices. This means that even if children are uncomfortable or something upsets them, they don't show it. They either keep it to themselves, let it go, or express it without making a big scene. Number 2. Children are highly independent Depending on where you live, the thought of letting your child walk to school alone might turn your stomach in knots. But in Japan, kids as young as 7 years old get to travel to school by themselves. The Japanese get away with this because they have a phenomenal public transport system and one of the lowest crime rates in the world. Children are responsible for taking themselves to school and heading back home afterwards. This teaches them a sense of responsibility and discipline. It also shows them that their parents trust them to behave themselves when they're alone. Kids are also taught independence and self-discipline during lunchtime at school. A lot of kids work in the cafeteria, serving other school children during lunch. Number 1. Parents discipline their children in private In a lot of countries, when a child is making a fuss in public, yelling, or just generally misbehaving, parents might rush to put a stop to things at once. Many parents discipline their kids in the presence of others, but Japanese parents tend to do it behind doors and away from prying eyes. In Japan, parents are expected to be role models that remain patient when their children are misbehaving. If a Japanese child was yelling in a crowded train and the parent responded by screaming at them, the whole family would feel shame. Besides that, parents also do it in private so that the child will pay attention to what they're saying without being distracted by others. Like all parenting styles, one accepted method isn't necessarily better than another, but there's still a lot to be learned from how different cultures raise happy children. If your parenting rules aren't doing the trick, maybe give these tips a try. If you want to follow the Japanese style of parenting, you'll need to bring your kids up with some tough love when it comes to education and discipline, establish strong attachments with your children without being overly emotional, and get the help of your extended family members in enforcing rules. If it works for people in Japan, it might just work for you. Which parenting rule will you take from Japanese parents? Let us know in the comment section. Remember to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to stay on the bright side of life.